Hello everyone, welcome back to Yarns and Fins. I am Kay and for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet the Marabella peplum top and dress. Different versions of the Marabella tutorial like this in the photos are also available to watch. I will put the video links on the description box below. As you can see here, I have already done the upper part of the top. Tutorial for this is in a different video and I will put the video links on the description box below. When you're done with your last row of decreasing the shells, go back to this video to continue. Also, we will be using the same materials which is the fingering weight yarn and a 2.5mm crochet hook. For the whole dress, I consume 600 grams of polyester yarn for size small. To begin with the flare, start with a chain of 3 and we will work our first v-stitch here so we will add one more chain and a front post double crochet on the same stitch. Next, we will skip one stitch and work v-stitch on the next. skip one stitch and work v-stitch on the next. Repeat that until you reach the chain one space. Here on the chain one space, work a v-stitch. If your last v-stitch is on the stitch before the chain one, just do the v-stitch on the chain one space. Then continue with the skip one and working v-stitch on the next until you reach your next post. So here on the post, we will work a front post v-stitch. We will do this on all posts. Then continue with this pattern on the next two shells and I will meet you on the shells from the front panel. So here I'm done with the first three shells on the back panel and now I'm here on the front which is this small shell. So what we're gonna do here is we will be working v-stitches in every stitch and on chain one space. On the next post, we will work a front post v-stitch. Now we will repeat this pattern on the next 5 shells. Then on the last 3 shells after this small shell, we will work the same pattern we did on the first 3 shells of the round. So here I just finished the last three shells. So just to recap, the first three shells we will work a skip one v-stitch. Then on the six shells in front, we'll work a v-stitch in each stitch. And then on the last 
3, we will work a skip 1 and V stitch. Now to finish the round, we will slip stitch on the first V stitch of the round. To begin round 2, start with chain 3, that will be our first double crochet. Work another double crochet. Chain 1 and work another 2 double crochet on the same chain 1 space. That will be our first shell. Now for the whole round, we will work a shell stitch in each chain 1 space of the V stitches. To work a shell stitch, just 2 double crochet, chain 1 and another 2 double crochet in the same chain 1 space. Finish round 2, slip stitch on the third chain at the beginning of the round. To continue to the next round, slip stitch on the next and on the chain 1 space. For this round, we will again begin with a chain of 3 and then double crochet chain 1 and another 2 double crochet on the same chain 1 space. That will be our first shell stitch. Then after that, work shell stitch in each chain 1 spaces for the whole round and then repeat that round until you have your desired length. If you want to make it into a peplum top only, you can work at least 15 rounds and then add more if you want to make it into a dress. Here's what it should look like on every shell. So for my size, I did a total of 33 rounds before the finishing round that is 42 cm in length. And you may also do this for every 10 rounds, I changed my hook size to a bigger size. Like for the first 10 rounds, I used 2.5mm crochet hook. And then on round 11 to round 20, I used 275 And then on round 21 to 30, I used 3mm crochet hook. For the finishing round, we will still work with shell stitches but I wanted to add some beads so instead of a chain 1 in between 2 double crochets, I added pearls using 0.9mm crochet hook or you can use a floral wire to insert your beads.
To finish the round, of course, we will just slip stitch on the first stitch of the round. And just like that, we are again done with our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the like button and the notification bell. And of course, subscribe if you want more free tutorials like this. Thank you for watching! Thank you.